So we're watching as countries like Turkey, Qing, and Brazil all very quickly are rapidly approaching the British in terms of development, and we're just kind of seeing the British stay stagnant. They're not really getting more land. If anything, they could be losing stuff. And actually, over the break I had the game running, it looks like the British Australians, as well as, uh, yeah, the British Australians declared their independence. Now this is not Newfoundland. Newfoundland is not involved. Cape Colony is, though. Russia, Qing, and Belgium this time coming to support them. So we could be seeing this right now. That's huge because, again, we've been talking about that. Newfoundland can't really get their independence until the CSA decides to backstab the British. That's really the only way. However, Australia should be relatively safe here. There's nobody in Indonesia or Northern Australia that could hurt them that much. Qing and Russia working together here. This is, this is a very unlikely alliance that we'd probably see almost no other time. Oh, they like each other. How did that happen? Okay, that that is going to be huge if these two ally to each other. Uh, also, Prussia is going to lose a bunch of land to Russia if they're not ready. They're already at 13 war score. Austria attacking Italy and France. Ooh, that's also a pretty interesting one. They're at negative 21, though. Mexico versus the Netherlands. Spain. Holy crap, everyone's attacking Italy right now. From both sides here. How did Turkey... How was Turkey not in, in involved in this? Did Italy annul the treaty with Turkey? I think they did. Italy's like, I don't need you anymore, Turkey. Why did you do that? Oh, you're an idiot, Italy. You're an idiot. This could be very... Because I don't think Austria can come back. I think that their border with Russia will ultimately keep them pretty low in the development list. But this could possibly... We could see big, big things happen from Spain here. Spain apparently took over the, the uh, Brittany at some point. I don't know when that happened, but uh, but that that ended up happening at some point. Let's go down to speed four. This could be huge because you've got Italy facing both the Austrians and the Spanish, two separate fronts. That will not be easy. Does Spain have anyone involved? No, it's just pretty much by themselves. Spain's ally to CSA though. Wow. Okay, things are getting really interesting. I don't think the British would lose any land. Just because the British colony becomes independent doesn't mean the British lose development, right? I, I don't know if there's a modifier in there that I'm not considering. Maybe. Mexico also fighting the Dutch for, I think, Central American territory. Austria's at negative 20 war score, but Spain is at 14. So what will happen here, more than likely, is that Austria will be forced to probably white peace between Italy and the uh, Austrians. Yeah, Burgundy was on Austria's side. Spain, if you push hard enough... Well, first of all, you could... I don't know if you'd want... It wouldn't be smart to release France. I feel like they need to take territory away. If anything. What's Russia doing? Boom! Russia, just like that, forced Prussia out of the war... Which means, uh, it's just... Hey, why isn't Qing doing anything here? What's up with that? And, uh, what is this? Who's occupied you? Mexico? Oh, that's right. Mexico and the Dutch are at war. Oh, that's why you wanted it. That's why these two are at war, because they wanted Australian territory. That's kind of a cool conflict. Two countries that would probably, in other worlds, never be at war with each other. See, yeah, now you have Russia and Qing attacking British India. They're going to lose territory. And not only will British Australia, I think, get their independence, but they're going to lose territory too in India, which is kind of that the heart of the British Empire is India. And they can't protect it. They're so bad. The AI is so bad at protecting India. It's crazy. I don't know. Once again, it just goes back to it needs, they need it to be a colony itself. Although that would just probably become independent because it's too much power. You gotta separate them into multiple colonies, maybe. I don't know. Alright, let's check on development. So yeah, this is what we're noticing. Brazil is only about, you know, a little bit over 200 points away. We've got Qing about 300 points away. Qing taking British territory, though, could help Brazil as well as help Qing themselves. Hey, Prussia's in the thousands, so they've been developing a little bit here. Spain's still pretty far behind. There is not much. Oh my gosh, is Turkey going to just break apart here? Communists. 
Oh my goodness, Turkey's dealing with communist revolutionaries. What is Turkey at the moment? They're, they can't stop that. They're enlightened, yeah, enlightened des- but it's, it's, yeah, yeah, they have the absolute ruler pretty much. Oh boy. An absolute ruler. Embracing the ideas of the enlightenment. Okay, we need to look out for this. They, they can't stop this. There's no way. Is that going to be the first communist nation then? Where's my government types? I need that government types map mode. Because I don't even know what's going on. Government type. Here we go. So, we have a celestial... A celestial... I think I said that right. Celestial Empire from Qing. Uh, obviously, English monarchy for the British. We've got Constitutional Republic. Colonial government. Colonial government. Brazil is a parliamentary constitutional monarchy. So nothing too crazy. What are some of these yellows? What is Brittany? Uh, plutocratic Republic. What is that? What does that even mean? A government from where the nation is governed by elected representatives. Oh, okay. Whose main objective is uh, economic growth. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's keep an eye on that to see what happens to Turkey. Because I don't see them stopping this. They've got to give in. So communism is going to rise up first, it looks like, in uh, in Turkish territory. We'll see if it ex expands from there. It's 1959. Prussia didn't lose anything, right? No, Prussia didn't lose anything to Russia. Prussia also still has their uh, vassalization over Switzerland. At least still at war with Austria, or no? Yes, they are. Wow. That's kind of surprising. They're winning their war against Austria, but that's it. They're going to lose their war against Spain. So they might pick up territory, but lose an equal amount of territory in the West, it looks like. I'm surprised that Russia... Oh, yeah, you are completely occupied. It's because it's been it's given to British Australia. Russia's not asking for too much of it. Neither is Qing. So they both will get land, I think, out of this. Yeah, this should be a pretty huge victory for Australia. And that means Australia is going to play a bigger role. Australia's at 20 war score. They'll get their independence. Spain's at 33. Thailand's at 2. That's about it. Zambia versus Angola. Ooh, that's kind of a big one. But yeah, if Austria, Australia gets their independence... Oh, Mexico just got pushed back. Australia could go after the Dutch, who's not very powerful... Maybe Spain, I mean, they could go after Qing. I don't know, Qing would be tough. I don't know how strong the Qing Navy is. Actually, has Qing westernized yet? We should check on some of the nations who has and hasn't westernized. Qing is not. They're still in the Asian technology group. So is Turkey. We checked on that. So is Morocco. AI is not very uh, quick at westernizing so far, which might be a bad thing. Brazil is western. We already, we already knew that. Oh, Brazil ended up winning that war over the CSA. I forgot to mention, uh, obviously, since Venezuela is now their vassal. So there's no stopping Brazil. I mean, unless there's some sort of... Yeah, so Argentina has no friends. Neither does Chile. So they're kind of screwed there. And nobody really has strong enough friends to stop Brazil. That is... Uh, that's pretty big. And Turkey, is everything okay? Have you got it under con No, you don't have it under control. Yeah, no, the 80 stack is just ravaging. 80 stacks, 70 stacks. I wonder how that happened. How did it get so bad, Turkey? How? What happened to the... I don't... I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. You know, we could see an Austrian comeback here if uh, if Spain continues to be successful. No, maybe not. They're at 45 war score, so maybe I am wrong about that. More than likely I am. Whoa, Austria just got desperate. An Austrian-Russian alliance. Also, this is going to really hurt Prussia. Prussia's going to be in a difficult spot. Oh my gosh, Prussia has two vassals now. Since the British are slowly losing power, Prussia's got to turn to, to Spain. Oh, they can't. Oh, Prussia likes Russia. I forgot about that. Yeah, Prussia has a thing for Russia. 
So just ally to them, kind of get a Eastern European party going on, and then do your thing. It's all good. Yeah, you'd be fine. New Zealand's completely occupied. I wonder who ended up getting to New Zealand. Was it Australia themselves or, or what? Okay, they've got more than enough now to peace out. Also, that was an Austrian offensive war. And I bet you Spain just kind of took advantage. Oh, Spain peaced out. Wow. Yep. They, uh, I think they allowed Italy to, to keep the French territory and Spain did what I told them to do. I don't, they didn't listen to me, but, you know, they took French lands. They took of half, half of modern day France. That was a ballsy move by Spain. Oh, and Italy's peaced out too. So Austria just got pushed back. Austria will be fine now since they're allied to Russia. Ooh, things are interesting in Europe. It's pretty much divided to like four nations. Russia, Prussia, Italy, and Spain. And then you have like a big city-state, Austria. And then like smaller, like Portugal, I guess, too. I, I, I hate to call them a city-state. They're definitely not a city-state, but I'm just saying they're... I don't see where else they're going to get their land from. Thailand's still at war with Italy. It's crazy. They must not be willing to peace out, I guess. And Zambia is winning the war over Angola. Yep, they're winning that war pretty good. Brazil, come on, man. Pick it up. Newfoundland's still at 100% liberty desire. The thing is, oh, well, you're not being guaranteed by... Russia or Qing anymore. They, it was it was for the best though. If Newfoundland declared the war too, they would have dragged, they would have dragged everybody down, because the CSA would have dominated over Canada, and uh, and then there you go. Actually, this isn't Canada. This is going to be just Newfoundland, I think, because Canada's already formed. In our lovely Danish green mark, just lovely Danish green mark. Okay, let's go up to speed 5. See if we can run. Run with it. Russia's peaced out. I think I think uh, there it is right there. So Australia should be on their... No freaking way. How is that possible? How is that possible? They, had 30, they are at 30 war score. There must be something that I wasn't... Oh, you know what? Was there somebody else that was... That declared the independence... Look at this. Russia at one point was allied to both Italy and Prussia. They must have just formed that. Then they peaced out. That is going to throw a wrench in the plan. Maybe this won't be as uh, British versus... Okay, British are going to continue to fight. Yeah, it looks like the British even got territory somehow out of this. Or they've just been developing the crap out of their stuff. Brazil only 300 away, Qing at 400 away, Turkey at 500 away. From catching, I guess. And they're, not, they're all not really related to each other. They all could theoretically do this without much of a, an issue. Jeez. Yeah, Turkey, I don't know how they're still holding on with their government type. Also, Spain and British, how do they like it? They don't like each other. Okay, that explains it. Spain and Turkey are allied, though. Since Turkey lost that alliance with Italy, does that mean Spain could next be the next uh, communist country that forms? I mean, Turkey's not even communist yet. They haven't accepted it. They just have to hold on. Yeah, Russia, I think, was forced to release stuff. How, how did that happen? Was I reading it wrong? Because I'm pretty sure I was not. Yeah, I don't know. That is, uh, that's, that's some weird stuff. That's some funky stuff. Oh, well, Brazil's not waiting. Brazil's now going after Colombia. They got to watch for Mexico, though. Here's the thing. If they cut through enough Colombian, Colombian territory, there's really nothing in Central America. Honduras is not going to stop them. Belize, is Belize still around? Oh, Honduras is now, is now helping, trying to help at least. Does Brazil have awesome alliances still? Yep, Russia will keep them safe. Kind of. Actually, they won't because they're so far away, but... Yeah. 
Russia CSA and the British. Yeah, I don't know where the British got up all that development. We've got multiple people over a thousand now. I, Spain will be the next though. Spain have to be the next one over a thousand. And look at that. I mean, just all constantly British India is is fully occupied. Like it's not. It's never a time where it's not. It's crazy. Let's check on where uh, Spain wants to expand towards next. Burgundy's now their. Oh no, Nevers is now. Their vassal. Spain wants Prussia and southern part of the British Isles. Again, because the British are so expansive, they're so wide, it's hard for them to protect territory. When they're fighting a war in British India, it's, you know, the British Isles are less protected. And Spain is the nation to do it. Spain probably has the navy to be able to give uh, the British a, a tough time fighting in the English Channel over everybody else, to be honest. So something like that might pop up. Oh, Italy's back in an alliance. How did they, how did that happen? I'm I'm getting confused. I don't know. They must not have been annulled. I'm guessing. Maybe Russia just got the royal marriage up. And and by the time we were looking at it, they didn't ask for the alliance offer. I don't know. Something weird. Uh, maybe Turkey does have a handle on this, or maybe just the rebels aren't doing anything anymore. They're tired. Look at Russia's regiments just sitting along the Turkish border. They might be uh, gearing up for another another war here. But anyways, guys, looks like I'm going to stop right there. We'll see what happens in the next one. It's 1960. And uh, things are still kind of getting close here. What, did they already peace out? Brazil, did you already peace out? Yes, they did. Yep, they've already peaced out. So that was a really weird peace deal. I don't see how that happens but uh either way th it's only a matter of time before british colonies leave the british empire there's unless of course obviously we stop the series before that ends up happening which is definitely a possibility but we will see because brazil is obviously not too far behind uh the british at the moment but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time